Today we will show you the quick installation process for the Little Giant 5 Series submersible pump. Let's get started. Connect a garden hose using the 3 quarter inch garden hose adapter or connect a 1 inch male NPT threaded pipe or hose directly to the 1 inch female NPT discharge port. If you are using the 3 quarter inch garden hose adapter, expect a 15% decrease in performance due to the restriction in diameter. If you are using flexible vinyl tubing, a clamp can be used on the tubing to restrict the flow. Place the pump vertically on a solid surface in the water to be removed. The water should be at least 3 quarters of an inch deep. The pump should be totally submerged for proper cooling when operated for extended periods. Never place the pump directly on clay, earth, or gravel surfaces to prevent damage and pump failure. Place the pump on a flat surface such as a piece of wood or metal to prevent it from being clogged with debris. Position the free end of the hose or pipe where the water will be relocated. For water containing high mineral content or metals, use a pump with an attached sacrificial anode to prevent galvanic corrosion. Before plugging in the pump, reference the following electrical considerations. Check the pump label for proper voltage required. Do not connect a voltage other than that shown. If used outdoors, make sure that the pump is connected to a circuit equipped with a ground fault circuit interrupter or GFCI device if required by code. The pump should be connected or wired to its own circuit with no other electrical receptacles or equipment in the circuit. The fuses or circuit breakers should be of ample capacity in the electrical circuit. And lastly, if a fused type plug is used on 230 volt units, a 5 amp fuse is recommended. Plug the power cord directly into an electrical outlet or switch on power at the junction box. Confirm that the pump is functioning as intended. To help reduce cleanup time, the 5 Series MSP with a screen will remove water within 1 8 of an inch. A pump without a screen will remove water within 1 16 of an inch. Finally, unplug the unit as soon as the pump stops pumping water or the suction sound changes to prevent the pump from running dry. For more information, reference the owner's manual. Thanks for watching.